Ever since Omega launched the Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter back in 1993, the watch has been associated with everyone's favorite steely-eyed British spy, James Bond. Accordingly, many watch enthusiasts now refer to the Diver 300 meter as the Bond Seamaster on account of its intrinsic associations with 007, his discerning taste, and his adventurous spirit. With the release of the most recent Seamaster Professional, Omega has made a number of notable changes, such as bringing back the beloved wave dial and updating the watch with the latest and greatest technology. Naturally, such a move begs the question, is it all down to movie marketing? Or does the Seamaster Professional actually stand on its own as a premium piece? We get hands-on to find out for ourselves. We've had quite a few dive watches in for review as of late, and we won't mince any words. Aesthetically speaking, the Seamaster Professional is our favorite of the lot. From afar, the stainless steel case and brilliant blue dial appear simple and understated, eye-catching sure, but not flashy in a way that's likely to draw too much attention. The perfect front, then, for a high-profile secret agent attempting to go unnoticed. Once you get hands-on with the Seamaster Professional, however, it's almost difficult to know where to begin. The watch has this sophisticated complexity about it that becomes increasingly evident the more you handle it. For instance, face on, the wave pattern on the ceramic dial is pretty subtle. In the right light though, it becomes much more prominent, acting as a stunning backdrop to the raised applied loom plots and skeletonized hands. The case too is as refined as Bond watches come, sculpted with a set of beautiful twisted lugs that suggest finesse despite the piece's tool watch intentions. In a market awash with blocky, straight-lugged cases, we really appreciate how these are able to elevate the Seamaster's appearance. And, as we'll get into a bit later, they dramatically improve the wearer's experience. In the past, Seamaster professionals have been characterized by an almost dress watch-like slimness. With the new reference, though, Omega felt that it was high time the watch hit the gym and put on some bulk. In practice, this means that the Seamaster professional now measures a full 42 millimeters across, 13.6 millimeters thick, and 50 millimeters lug to lug. Though the new dimensions amount to, at most, a few millimeters difference, they nevertheless result in some significant changes in the Seamaster's on-wrist feel. The watch has much more presence, even if the fit otherwise proves pretty familiar. Even still, the combination of the liar lugs along with the tasteful mix of mirrored and brushed surfaces ensures that the Seamaster Professional is still as sharp as ever. It may have grown a bit here and there, but it carries the weight well. In fact, if anything, the update has made the watch feel modern and cool again. Like all previous iterations, the latest Bond Seamaster retains the watch's signature scalloped bezel, along with polished ceramic insert of the last generation. Instead of the traditional 1 to 15 minute elapsed scale though, it now sports a much simpler, not to mention better looking, set of 10 minute increments. Expectedly, the actuation is phenomenal, with plenty of finger purchase and feel for use underwater or on land. And in the case of our example, the glossy finish and blue color stand in sharp contrast to the rest of the watch. Having now established itself as a central aspect of the Seamaster's design, the helium escape valve is obviously not going anywhere anytime soon. It's still positioned at 10 o'clock, but Omega has made it both larger and also slightly conical in shape. Crafted with a small raised helium logo, the second crown is another instance of Omega's incredible attention to detail. So, while it might not provide much of a functional advantage, for most users, it does at least make the watch look the part. As we touched on before, the laser engraved wave pattern dial is one of the most eye-catching aspects of the watch. Housed beneath a sapphire crystal, it's bolder than ever because of its wider spacing and deeper etching. For this reason, the new Seamaster has proven a little divisive amongst the enthusiast community. On the one hand, variations with white or black dials can be pretty subtle. By contrast, those with green, gray, or like ours, blue dials are a bit more dramatic in their effect. Regardless of your particular preferences though, there's no denying that the dial layout is exceptionally well designed. Around the edge, you'll find large raised markers with bars at three and nine, double bars at 12, a color matched date window at six, and dots around the other hours. Because of the added height and brilliant rhodium plated surrounds, the markers prove highly legible no matter the occasion. During the day, there's ample contrast. Come nightfall, they glow a bright blue along with the hour and seconds hands, whereas the minute hand and bezel pip shine green, making elapsed time easier to read underwater. Text-wise, Omega has kept the watch a pretty simple affair. 
Above the handset, there's an Omega insignia, as well as the Seamaster Professional name in red and white. Down below, you'll find a lightly etched ZRO2 logo denoting the ceramic makeup, along with a further three lines of text, including the watch's movement specification, the master chronometer certification, and the water resistance listed in both meters and feet. On other pieces, such a layout would feel busy, even overcrowded. However, because of the Seamaster's skeletonized rhodium-plated sword hands and distinctive patterned dial, we found that it looked, more than anything, well-balanced, if not full. Rounded out by a red accent on the end of the seconds hand, the result is a piece that's harmonious down to the smallest detail. Much like the rest of the watch, the classic tank tread bracelet is visually very similar to those found on previous Seamaster references. Measuring some 20 millimeters wide, it comes with a mix of mirror polished and satin brushed links. As such, it is, admittedly, a little dressy for a diver, more suited to mixing it up at formal events than it is to exploring the depths of the ocean. Some enthusiasts also find it to be a bit too 90s looking, though it has been flattened and modernized to combat those critiques. Of course, Omega also offers the Seamaster Professional with a color-matched rubber strap, should you be in need of something a bit more utilitarian. Even still, the bracelet feels extremely solidly built, both in hand and on wrist, especially because of the beefy, overbuilt clasp. It's super comfortable, and when paired with the micro-adjusting slider found on the clasp, not to mention the diver extension, it couldn't be easier to find an adequate fit. Because of the curved lugs, the watch wears exceptionally well for its size, though it was certainly at the limit of what our tester's six and a half inch wrists could handle. By no means did it look like too much watch. We've spent a lot of time admiring the Seamaster Professional for its attention to detail, and there's no part of the watch where that's more evident than with the 8800 caliber automatic movement. For starters, it comes with a suite of cutting edge components, including Omega's trademark coaxial escapement, a free-sprung balance and silicon balance spring, and some 35 jewels. Taken together, such a combination is enough to give the watch its elite meta-certified master chronometer certification, a respectable 55-hour power reserve, and robust anti-magnetic properties tested up to 15,000 gauss. Ticking away at a 3.5Hz frequency, it's plenty accurate too, rated a meta's COSC beating standard of 0 or plus 6 seconds per day. And here's the thing. As much as it is a highly capable movement, the 8800 caliber is also an aesthetic marvel. Framed by a scalloped sapphire display back, it comes decorated with Omega's trademark Geneva waves and arabesque, rhodium plated finishing, and some eye-catching red text. In other words, the exterior of the watch may look the part, but it's really the movement that deserves the attention. If you're anything like us, you'll be taking the watch off just to enjoy the sight of its inner mechanisms at work. Much like Rolex has done with the Submariner, Omega has continued to make improvements to the Seamaster Professional upon each new iteration. But where the crown's changes have been mostly incremental, those from Omega tend to be considerably more noticeable. And that's a good thing, because the Seamaster Professional is now better than ever, not only bolder in design, but also more capable in function. Now, previous owners may find the updates in size to be a bit of an adjustment, and we certainly wouldn't mind seeing the return of the midsize option. But if you're looking for a modern diver that's smart enough for 007, yet still robust enough to tackle underwater excursions, it doesn't get much better than the Seamaster Professional.